Sunset Conversation is a live stream project which brings in conversation international art related people. Ciao Federico. Ciao, hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Sunset Conversation. This is session number 19. And it is actually the first session that I'm speaking to a fellow Italian. Oh, wow. So you're first in the list. And in fact, I guess it's going to be quite entertaining for people to hear two Italians speak in English. And so they're going to have good fun. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, we can also do a studio visit if you want, because uh, today I... Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I want to see your studio for sure. And um, I just want to give a little introduction about you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it was quite thrilling to, to meet your art. And for me, it was quite a recent happening. I know uh, in last week I've been researching quite a lot about you. And uh, I mean, I found out you're very impressively famous in Italy, but I actually didn't know because I missed all these bits of you. And I guess the first sculpture of yours that I seen was the floating welcome. And, uh, and after that sculpture, I came into your profile and started to look at all your previous uh, um, artworks and I connected them with my experiences of yours that I had. So I'm really happy to have you today. You're very an active artist. I would almost say you're an activist. And uh, in fact, my first question is in regard to your new project, Deep Scrolling. Yeah. Um, the reason why I started Sounds of Conversations, it was because I, I kind of felt a great need to bring more cultural materials into social medias. I was very bored of you know, all these private stories that people posted with very little interesting uh, content, at least to me. So I started developing this talk show that brings artists together. So I want to ask you a little bit about your deep scrolling project. And you could tell me perhaps, you know, why, why, why was your need to say you should stop following any person who doesn't post art and start using social media more, con more consciously? Yeah, because the problem is not the social media, but is the content that you use, that you see every day. And so I thought, if you change the type of content, you can change also the, the vibes which you synchronize with it. Uh, it's the vibes that make the difference. And the vibes of art, of creativity, of introspection, of something that go deep, for this reason, it's deep scrolling, can help you to go deep unconsciously. Art can help this process. Absolutely, absolutely. I kind of, I kind of really feel you. You know, I, the more I get to know you and the more I feel kind of closer yes. to, to your ideas, in a way. And I, I kind of I felt really happy that someone else was doing a cultural project involving perhaps uh, normal people and speaking about the history of art in that case. Um, so let's have a look at your studio and then I want to ask you something about your sculptures. Oh, okay, we are in my studio. This is one of my first series that is Actor on Canvas. Mm -hmm. This is my 3D scan laser that goes mm -hmm. on canvas and was the first using of technology in art in my life, using the scanning, 3D scan. This is a scan about uh, uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. And in one period of life, I started to model with the 3D modeling. And with the 3D modeling, uh, connection is born. Connect connection is one of my first. I, I kind of, I am, I, I really like this piece that you're showing now. And uh, I have to tell you a story about this, actually. That, um, back in the days, in 2010, when I moved to England, huh? I was on a bus with a friend of mine. Okay. And uh, back in those days, in England, it was quite common that everyone had smartphones and... Yeah, of course, and, same in all over the world. Exactly. But, you know, at that time, it wasn't so popular in Italy. So my friend said, I would never want a child to be born in England because he would already be born with a smartphone in his hand. And, you know, and then I saw your sculpture last week in, uh, in, in the South Bank. And it was very impressive that you put those, that idea three-dimensionally. You have seen last week, uh, last, uh, last yes. year. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I kind of feel that as an artist, you are very good at grasping that moment to make things viral. And it's not something bad I'm saying. You know, there's some arts, perhaps research beauty, in the history of art, perhaps some artists, they used to research religious messages. And um, I could bring more example, but perhaps when art became a big commodity for the market, there are artists like Jeff Koons who perhaps designed uh, art only that would sell. So he would only des design artworks that would be already um, commissioned. And when I look at your work, I kind of find I find it very impressive that you, you're so good at just developing so something that could become intelligently viral. Yeah, because the viralism is the religion where I come from. I was born in this type of mentality. Uh, when I started to create my strategy to be a little bit famous in my country, mm -hmm. uh, I started because I want to be famous a little bit in art. And so I started to create viral content that was not artistic content, but was only viral content. And so the viral is remaining in my, in my bloody. And mm -hmm. when I create something, sometimes it uh, had to be viral. Sometimes not necessary. For example, I don't know. Uh, I show you. This is not a viral content, but I love it. Mm -hmm. This is not a viral content. But sometimes I have to create something that anybody can understand it. And Absolutely. anybody can vibe at some frequencies. And the frequencies are different for any single people, you know, as in art. Any, anybody can give his interpretation. For example, for me, connection, connection that is also exists, big one. Oh, this is a grabbing conception. <laughs> I love that one. Your connection, big one, that is better. Grieving conception, I think, is quite a masterpiece. I have to say, this is a giant thing in resin. Uh huh. Wow. Fantastic. And for, and for me, it's not an, a negative uh, interpretation of technology. For me. It's another way. I, I I create works that can be interpreted at many levels of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Of consciousness. No, exactly. In fact, in my the connection way... between mother and son. Mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. And the technology is the metaphor that can catch the follower, that can catch the users, the attention of the user. And when the attention of the user is catched, maybe he can think about that uh, could be a provocatory a provocatory um, message but it's not also a provocatory message it's something of more deep for example about the connection between mother and son that is something that you uh, it's the inheritance from your mother exactly and all the consequences all the consequences so that's the the most discussed piece of this summer right yeah uh, with this piece, uh, the, was floating, uh, this piece was floating in the water. Mm -hmm. I show you a spoiler, the outside. Yeah. You said something really nice about how you kind of use technology to get to a very deep message. And I want to add you something that a kind of a transitory moment that you use is irony. You're very, use, you're very good at using irony as a mean that transports sometimes also sad messages of, contemporary, of the contemporary reality we live in. And uh, now that you said, you know, that you started as a um, social media kind of character, I kind of, I can see how the things came together, the viralness, the irony of you, yourself creating ironical context perhaps back in the days. And then you combine them together to create art pieces. And I, I read there was a time in which you decided, from now on, I'm going to stop creating just funny videos, and I'm going to use that energy to create art. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I decided to do it. it I, yeah, I've done this one when um, I collapse my my. Um, 
um, attitude to the compromise was collapsed. When the compromise um, finished, started only art. So four years ago, um, I say the goodbye to all the entertainment and they start only to do art only because the compromise couldn't go on. Non poteva andare avanti. Il compromesso mm -hmm. between the compromise between um, be appreciated, essere apprezzato and uh, um, express myself. I had mm -hmm. to express totally myself. But some of my, my past is remained in my in my cells, nelle mie mm -hmm. cellule. And maybe come out in art. The irony, the viral attitude. Sometimes. I hope. Yeah. And did you did you experience a, a change in audience when you did this kind of swap? Yeah, a little bit. There was a fifty percent of rechange, totally rechange. Mm -hmm. with the passing of the time, little by little. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, in fact, I wanted to ask you if that was connected to the kind of uh, psychological stress that perhaps all those videos were bringing to you. Yeah. And uh, you, you kind of active and you, you, you look like you're very good at exposing yourself uh, and your fragility and your appearance. And I wondered, how, how do you deal with, with the, the psychological stress, indeed, that comes into being a, a kind of social media character. Come è rimasto lo stress psicologico? Uh, I'm going to explain that in Italian. Uh, quello che mi chiedo è come gestisci appunto lo stress di un personaggio uh, che è nato dai social media e doveva affrontare uh, un, un audience come fai tu, ponendosi senza uh, barriere ma piuttosto anche esponendo la tua fragilità, la tua apparenza, senza magari eh, impandola, magari come in questo momento faccio io per esprimere più a mio agio, ma sempre mostrandoti veramente vero. Ma uh, I think that this is not a problem because only the fragile people can see the other fragile. So if you expose your fragile, only the same people can perceive it. To the other people, you are not exposing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a pretty interesting concept. <laughs> that's a pretty interesting concept, yes. <laughs> you, you need to be in a certain frequency. Yeah. When people really think, like Marina Abramovic, that you kind of grasp the world according to frequencies. It depends on the frequencies you live in, that you kind of experience the world. For example, he, she appeared fragile, <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Do you have any other, um, perhaps, works that you never showed on Instagram? It's kind of some personal creative work. That I have never showed because it's personal or that uh, I have never showed because... It's... Because perhaps you, you kind of, nowadays you want to attach to a certain aesthetic and you don't want to mix different uh, aesthetics online, perhaps. Or perhaps you, you're kind of afraid of it. You feel like it wouldn't do well online, so you're kind of scared of posting it or something. I'm thinking about it. No, no, every time I try to... No, I show... I... You, you get it right every time, right? I check it. No. Uh... No, every time. When, when one work is finished, I publish it. Um... Mm -hmm. For example, this is very personal for me. I want to very show you. Yeah, no, I, I really like it, to be this honest. This is very personal work. This is also very personal work. Very, very fucking personal work. All right. Nice. <laughs> for example, on another very personal work is this one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm. There are some of more intimate. Intimate is true. Yes. And something that is more open. Mm -hmm. like connection. Uh, this is also, I show you, this is... Uh, this is personal. Oh wow. Nice. A tank. Mm -hmm. And then, after the forest, 
But there is not um, uh, uncovered work, un lavoro nascosto. Mm -hmm. But I can spoiler, I can spoiler. Yeah, exactly. You're kind of 93% over to your next project. So can you tell us something about it? This is one of my next projects. The helium, the, um, what's the name of uh, La Bombola? Tank. Say the same as you. Helium tank in the block of concrete. That mm -hmm. is something like I feel myself. <laughs> nice. And while and this is a little is a very personal work. While there is another spoiler that is a um, uh, more uh, iconographical work like baby drone and like connection. I want to show you for the first time, and for the first time was created in, in concrete for um, as the first model, mm -hmm. and that is the Mamagotchi. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very nice. Can you tell us something about what's behind your art? What's the process? Do you do you sculpt the work yourself? Do you model 3D and then use digital sculpting and perhaps you hand hand finish? Yeah, there are, at the moment there are three, excluding the video art that I sometimes mm -hmm. do. Uh, there are three ways of process: the scanning of my body to create something like that, mm -hmm. to discount, or something like that. Oh, I, I love the Jesus Christ. Yeah, the crucifixion mm -hmm. of the heart is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I create the 3D um, mm -hmm. figures, um, sometimes for a project that I have in the mind, and sometimes uh, for projects that uh, appear at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then there is the 3D modeling, uh, which I create these type of works. Yes. Uh, this, for example, is the render of, is a paper of the render of this one. Yeah. And I'm starting to creating bidimensional works for poster art. In Milan, it's full of uh, this baby drone at the moment. Oh, really? Yes, yes. It was mm -hmm. so badly. Wow. And then there are this type of works that is uh, assembling, uh, mm -hmm. come si può definire? I would say it's just sculptural works, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, Federico, I mean, we've already been speaking half an hour, which is generally what I, what I tend to keep my sense of conversation long. Uh, but I, I still feel there's something else I want to ask you, and this is in regards to your uh future like do you feel like you will you will want to still bounce in the in in the between world of being a social media uh activist and an artist or you would like to get closer to the artist uh, to the art establishment and with with uh, its most traditional ways of um accessing galleries perhaps and museums i think that my my mind think that want to go towards the direction of the integri in integral artist. Mm -hmm. But my instinct that sometimes win is to have the, um, um, to be in the middle, to be on the bridge. And this is maybe is my function. Maybe is my story. Yeah. You definitely found your tools. You definitely found your transitions and messages. And I, I guess you're doing really well to be honest. Thanks so much. <laughs> so it's nice uh, meeting you today. To me, when I you think... in Milan, I wait you in uh, studio, my studio. Yeah, of course, we, we can do a proper um, sound conversation there with uh, good filming as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. Absolutely, and same if you're around South or Northern mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah, in Catania, I was in, uh, in this summer here, in, uh, in Taormina. All right, for the um, filming, I guess, right? Eating granite, and where, oh. I, uh, where I put this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In the, exactly. In the Sicilian Sea. Perfect. All right. Sorry for my English. No worries. I mean, it's been really good. I'm a fucking Italian. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. See you Ciao. next time. Grazie. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.